When you think of a combine harvester, typically you'll picture a giant flat field out west. However, we can see them sporadically throughout our New England agricultural industry. Combining is meant to help us harvest grains, such as barley, oats, wheat, rye, and sometimes corn. The combine harvester will turn the whole plant into two parts, such as seeds and kernels, or chaff. It'll take much of the plant in, and the next thing you know, you have clean seed to use for feed or as a cover crop. Typically when someone envisions a combine, they will picture the header. The header on this combine is composed of a reel, tines, a cutter bar, and an auger. The reel and tines will work together to pull the top half of the plant into the cutter bar to be cut, and the platform auger will then pull the grain and stalks up a conveyor to have the grain be separated from the rest of the plant. This process of separation is called threshing and will result in the grain going into the grain tank of the machine and the chaff coming out of the back of the machine. Through this process in the combine, we can get the grains of a plant cleaned and ready to use for feed or to reseed. Once the grain tank on the combine is full, it will need to empty it into a wagon. This is done by an unloading auger which extends out from the combine. Although Connecticut may not be synonymous with combining, it is still common to see our farmers around the state combining small grains for breweries, feed, or cover crops. The next time you see a combine, think about the cereal you are eating, or the muffins you just made, and the farmer that gave them to you.